Lord Sumption is a former Supreme Court judge, and he has described the plan by uh, the government to declare Rwanda as safe as profoundly discreditable. He says it will effectively overrule a decision on the facts, on the evidence by the highest court in the land. Now, uh, Lord Sumption has often been a critic of the Human Rights Court in Strasbourg, but he said in this case the plan will not work internationally. It will still be a breach of the government's international law obligations. Uh, James Cleverly, as a uh, as as a um, reply, uh, repost, uh, said, "Find me two lawyers, and I will give you three opinions." It's a little bit like having um, John Maynard Keynes in the room, two people in the room, three opinions. He says, lawyers argue all the time, that's literally what they do. I have very eminent lawyers who take a different view. I think James cleverly ought to listen to a few people who take a moral view as well as a legal view. There are three views here. There's the political view, what is politically expedient, what is legally um, possible, and what is morally true. And I think I think those three things, I, I, I think if there isn't a decent ethics advisor in number 10, and I don't think there is at the moment, there ought to be one. And that ethics advisor should look at the moral issues regarding redefining something that has been decreed by the highest court in the country as unsafe, redefining it as safe. That is fraught with problems. It also exposes the prime minister as um, a moral vagabond and it means uh, m more than so, so so much it's a so much harsher judgment than anything that could have been plastered on to um, Boris Johnson I'm afraid Boris Johnson was just a liar uh, all prime ministers lie Boris Johnson just did it routinely but this is something it goes beyond lying this undermines the fabric of our society. This is exactly what I was uh, most concerned about Suella Braverman. Suella Braverman's absurd claims to be um, testing the limits of the law. The only people who test the limits of the law are criminals. And if we now have government ministers and indeed a prime minister who is prepared to overturn the law to get what he wants. This is a sad position in which we find ourselves.